Our state has one of the highest rates for car thefts in the nation. Tonight, law enforcement officials are hoping to curb that by dismantling an organized crime ring they say is responsible for thousands of stolen vehicles. Now, these 13 suspects charged in the big auto theft and burglary bust right now, they are accused of stealing cars from dealerships, the airport, and other areas across Colorado, and then using them to commit other crimes, including stealing ATMs. CBS Colorado investigator Karen Morfitt first reported on a similar ring targeting Aurora last fall. And back then, police told Karen they believed that was part of a larger organization. Now, fast forward to today, where the indictment alleges the group used sophisticated tools and left their DNA behind in several of the vehicles. Well, the forensics portion of this case is very strong. You know, forensics exists for this, for the ability to uh, tie crimes like this. While 13 individuals are named in this indictment, only eight of those are in custody. Two of them in Mexico, several others are still at large. In all, the group accused of stealing 59 vehicles. And tonight, your reporter Gabriela Vidal spoke with one man who was an alleged victim of this ring. And Gabby, instead of kind of targeting unlocked vehicles, I understand this group turned to technology, right? Yeah, Alan, and one of the victims that we spoke to, one of the many victims in this indictment, says that he found out that his car was stolen from DIA when he opened up his Ford Pass, and it said that someone had done a ma master reset on his car, meaning that he could no longer access it. Now, almost a year later, since his car was stolen from here at DIA, there may be justice for some of the victims who had their car stolen. I just moved out here a little bit over a year ago, so... Uh, to be new and then to have my car stolen, uh, you know, was kind of not so great. Colorado Springs resident Michael Anthos's 2019 Ford Raptor was stolen from the Pikes Peak parking lot at Denver International Airport. Anthos dropped off the car at the airport to rent it to a traveler through Turo while attending a conference in Denver. I'm at the conference, I'm sitting there, I get an alert on my iPhone saying that a master reset was done to your Ford vehicle. You no longer have access. Never seen that before. Knew something probably wasn't right. 13 people have now been indicted for allegedly stealing his and dozens of other cars across the Denver Metro. Apparently, my truck was used on the way to their stash house to commit several crimes on the way there. Anthos's car found destroyed in an Aurora neighborhood after police were able to track his vehicle to the stash house. From what I was told by the detective, they were inside the garage with my truck, with the door closed. They drove through the garage door that was closed, hit a police car or two, and proceeded to take the police on a high-speed chase. My truck was eventually totaled because it ran into a Dodge Ram head on and that was the end of my truck. His stolen vehicle marks one in 121 total counts against this alleged auto crime ring. It's great that, you know, they're finally able to, uh, you know, catch these folks and charge them. An indictment that Antho says only scratches the surface on a major issue facing Coloradans. There's a bigger ring to this and whether they're interconnected or not, who knows, but we're not going after these folks the way that they probably should be. Nantho says one of his frustrations with, was how easy it was for those thieves to get his car out of the lot, saying that when he got to the police station, they already had his information pulled up because the parking lot was able to capture his car, but the thieves were able to simply get out by touching the gate while they got out. And we'll be covering more of this as this story develops uh, on air and online at cbscolorado.com. At DIA, Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First. Gabriella, thanks.